armor, but we'll bring in those guitars. We've got Saiyan on the Bryn, Vecina on the Zol, and LX over to the Cassidy. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see what map they go for right here. We're going to have the bands going out. It looks like Great Hall, Mammoth Fortress, and Shipwreck are going to be left on the field. It's either going to be Mammoth Fortress or Shipwreck. I don't think they're going to go to Great Hall, but I've been proved wrong in that last set where they played Great Hall twice in a row. So who knows? Hey, look at that. Nope. And they're right out. And hey, look at that. My first pick. I guess it's a little cheap to pick two maps out of three, <laughs> but. You had a, you had a two thirds <laughs> chance on a completely random roll, but uh, definitely aware of how these players likely want to play maps. Um, it is going to be game one, Saiyan and Trick versus LX and Vecina. Trick going high in the sky, but actually denied the weapon pickup. LX went just underneath him, kind of snuck out that weapon spawn. Mm -hmm. and getting things just kicked off the bat right now. Getting, getting things going. LX looking at the blasters right now. Trick looking for that guitar startup and looking for the recoveries. Oh, nice little interruption right there. A little interjection with the gravity cancel side light going off stage looking for the slaps. Saiyan having a little bit of trouble getting back on a stage, but finally having that space to recover, uh, he is going to start doing a little bit more work with that uh, axe and Vecina just getting the turnaround as well. That axe being uh, much more powerful than anything else we have out here because that Zul is just immensely powerful. Ooh. Whoa, getting turned around. There's a double. Oh, Saiyan with the very double delayed kill. knockout on LX there, but Saiyan with a fantastic side air high in the sky onto Vecina. Good dodging coming out from Saiyan. Good dodging from Trick to avoid that blast from Vecina. But now Vecina really starting to swing for the fences. Knows both blue team members are close to that kill percent. So they're trying to get these finishing blows. Side six is teammate though. That's not what they're looking for. Trick, unfortunately, got just his teammate Ooh, with the ground pound and Vecina. I like the option, but just didn't have the positioning for the downlight nair. Yeah, usually that's positioned, that, that combo is positioned so that you hit it grounded, but hitting it right in the center of the hitbox, you're gonna find that starter a little easier out of the downlight. But following the follow-up with the neutral air, I think you have to, you can't jump into it. I think you just have to press it because you're already in the air. You just gotta hope that you're gonna go right into it. Well, uh -oh. Saiyan not going to have to worry about that as he connects with a neutral signature onto Vecina. Trick and Saiyan looking like the stronger team here for game number one at the very least. As the red team is down a stop. Vecina with a nice neutral stick read on a Saiyan. Almost taking him off the top. Trick almost getting taken out. I don't know if he has the options. And no, he's going to take the fall. But that is going to cost the red team LX's stock as well. It's going to be just about even across the board, except for Saiyan holding on to that second stock still. Nice edge guard attempt coming out from Vecina. Vecina trying to get some big plays here. He's out a neutral air, but on stage, LX connects with a stomp neutral signature to put Saiyan in the final stocks alongside everyone else. Weapon throw, hitting his teammate in the face with a cannon throw. LX taking that uh, damage right there. Blue team getting condensed in the center of the stage. Trick getting thrown off onto the right. And Saiyan now getting collapsed on by both red team players with the turnaround. That side air taking Vecina out on the left is going to be huge because that is a red momentum. Oh, almost getting that Reed. recovery off the top. Great read coming out from Saiyan, reading that LX was going to dodge down, which led to the neutral signature. And you saw Trick. Trying to get some extra damage there. Just wanted to try to relaunch oh. LX. LX with a double down air. Saiyan can't touch. Oh, the neutral oh. air got him the wall touch. LX was too close to it. Still stuck off stage now. Even though All the weapons got... houses. Wow, that was so close. I, I thought for sure he was going to take that stock off of Saiyan, but no. Me able to close that out with a blue team. Phenomenal stuff. Well played from the blue team as we get right on into game number two. Don't even have time to think about what happened between the two matches. Messina already banning out maps, leaving Mammoth on the board. And of course, if the blue team just won there, they're going to go right back to it. But we do see LX uh, going over to the Taros now. Getting things kicked right on off. Trick with the hammer, LX with the axe, and it's gonna be the Taros pick this time around. Trick 
looking for these hammer plays going off stage looking for a grab maybe looking for a neutral air lx just going crazy with the axe plays though uh, right off the bat look throwing out those down sigs going taros mode just sigs axes just pressing attack 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 never stop swinging got to get that damage higher Alex trying to go in onto the blue team, but not finding any connections on the trick just yet. Saying from below and the help out from trick. There wasn't a true combo follow up off the nair. So trick's like, I'll give you a true combo follow up with my side air. Ooh, nice very fast from Alex will now. be the first stop. That's a very big hit now. Trick all alone for the time being, trying to stall. Waiting for his teammate to get back onto the field. Saiyan coming right out. And that KO on seen that, but not quite just yet. Trick just still alive. Going for that wall touch, going real deep, playing a risky, but oh, there he goes. The down Sig coming out from the Terrace. Down Sig, and now Saiyan with the recovery. Throwing Vecina around, looking for Trick. Collapsing back onto the field, and there is the KO. No, ILX surviving just a little bit longer. Just Vecina. enough defense, but Trick does find the recovery to finish off the first stock of Vecina. Zan, looking oh. for the dares, did stuff the recovery, so that's going to be the stock off of another red team member. Stock's evened up, but Zan barely damaged here. Not going to take too much to put Zan into that kill percent. Vecina really trying, though, using all that, that whole cannon kit off on the left. Gonna back off as Trick tries to make an approach, and that gives Saiyan the opportunity to get back. Good dodges coming out from both LX and Trick, or Saiyan, as they avoid those big hits. LX looking for the bigger hits as well. Down stick coming out, not gonna connect as Vecina down airs again, looking for another side air, throwing out the trap throw, and not gonna find it. Uh -oh. Weapon toss trying to catch Vecina, uh, trying to catch Trick low. Both blue team members in that kill percent, and LX starts throwing out the big Ooh. hits. Vecina is going to connect with the Nair. And look at this disparity between the health pools, between the red team and the blue team. Red team. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh, no. He jumped out of it. So he's going to survive, but that's a lot of damage put out on Trick's final stock. That's at least 100 damage just picking him over to the edge. Even like you might as well have lost that stock because it's just it's even worse now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Red team just going in now. They know that they have such a huge lead here. Four stocks to one. Saiyan playing on the edge, but that's going to stuff the recovery. That is it. Game number two going the way of LX and Vecina. That is insane play right there, especially at the end. Good awareness from the red team from LX up in the sky to find that axe pinwheel and get that recovery right off the top. And then the follow up on the Sam off stage, real, real good stuff. And it looks like there's gonna be another Terrace brought to the table by Saiyan, bringing out the Gurugak. Gur Gurugak, I'm, gu there's no U. Well, there's a U, but like Gurugak. But it's gonna be the double Terrace. There's three Terraces on the board. Alex and Vecina sticking with their picks after Alex swapped over to the Taros. They are seeing Saiyan and Trick bring out some Taroses of their own. Oh, sna oh. oh, snap. Good dodge. Good dodge. Still more hits, though, coming out from Vecina. Neutral Sig getting a little bit of disruption, but it's not enough. That is not anywhere near the equalization and damage that uh, the blue team has to get back on Vecina for what he did to Trick right at the beginning of the game. Yeah, Trick is definitely hurting right now off that big almost gimp coming out from Vecina. Good spot dodge to avoid the approach from Trick, and you're seeing them immediately go for the 2v1 onto Saiyan. Not really playing around, going for these huge offstage plays unless Vecina starts catching them with that cannon. And now we have four axes on the field. We have Zol and three Taros. Just swinging axes. It's real gross. <laughs> Lots of axes. Coming out from all these Taroses. Messina is going to be the first one to fall out of all four players on the field. But could see Trick and LX fall in just a little bit. Ooh. It looked like there was a little bit of a save there. Messina coming back onto the stage. And now LX with the... Oh, getting caught in the scoop. And there's the trap blast. Firing. Trick way out. 
losing that stock, saying finally he's going to lose his first stock as well, and it is even stocks all across the board. Vecina in the orange, though, that's a lot of damage built up. He's going to have to play a little bit more carefully, although that is not usually done in the South American region for great effect, too. Vecina's just going to go in. Ooh, nice read on that neutral stick as well. Yeah, uh, caution is definitely not something that uh, the South Americans usually keep in mind when they're playing, but uh, might start needing to think of it because Vecina is fairly hurt, still putting out the pressure onto Saiyan, doing some good damage, but another down signature could easily finish off either of these red team members if it's put in the right spot. Down sig oh, down from sigs. Vecina will connect on the trick on the approach. Same with the side of the Sig, not gonna get, it's gonna get stuffed right out. Trick trying to get, come on in. Vecina getting interrupted, thrown all over, and that is gonna lead to Trick getting taken out, and there is a double scoop off the top. LX and Vecina looking even better and better as we go on. Really finding their footing, but we're seeing Saiyan with some signatures of their own as they connect with the down signature. On to LX. Vecina, only one left on the second stock, starting to go for the big offstage, but Trick with the turnaround side air will even up that stock count. LX playing that corner very carefully, trying not to get pressured too much. Trick hitting the neutral sig in full Taros mode on his teammate, who is also Taros, so there's a lot of Taros mode going on. A lot of Axe plays. Complete berserking in general. The hammer is being swung by Trick. Oh, oh no. no! The spike coming out. At least it's on his teammate. And so that reduced damage and force coming out from the moves is not going to KO. But still, that is not something. Oh no! It's team it's damage. Happening. The team damage and Trick is going to fall. It's all left to say. And in the 1v2, and it's over before he even has an opportunity to pick up a weapon. LX and Vecina going to put another one in their belt. Currently up 2-1. Going into game number four. Terrace mode is one heck of a drug. When you just start <laughs> pressing those signatures and you hit them, it just you just you just you just black out and then you just keep pressing the same button. Because I mean you, you blacked out, you can't see, and your finger's already on the sig button, so you might as well keep pressing it. So you keep pressing it and pressing it, and your teammate just starts getting beaten and beaten. And I mean there's there's some enemy damage in there too, but you know, you just keep pressing the sig button because it feels so good, and then and then next thing you know, it's just You've done a lot of damage, but also uh, to your teammate. So <laughs> it's a uh, so yeah. At there, what cost? There, there, there's help uh, groups out there. That's the question. At what cost is all that damage done for? It looks like Saiyan and Trick. They did not like the double Taros. They are going to be changing it up, trying to avoid that Taros mode. As Saiyan hovering on the Roland, but it looks like an Orion currently. Uh, blue team and red team deciding how they're going to close out game number four. Uh, if the red team does in fact mm. win this one, we'll be continuing on in the loser side of things. Blue team has to win this in order to stay inside of this tournament. And we see a Roland, see an Orion, we see a Zol, Alex, walk in. So it looks like Trick and San are going to be swapping over to that Lance from the double Taro. So I think it's a pretty interesting way to go. But I don't think it's bad because I think that side, that horizontal uh, movement, that extra recovery option and ability the charged up recovery, through the side airs and the down airs, getting back to stage. I think it's going to give him a little bit more survivability moving forward. There's Dylan, who has nine defense, so that's going to be extremely tanky. But of course, looking at the other side of the team, we do have Zol and uh, Vecina just holding onto the terrors, holding onto the Zol. And um, it's been working so far. No need to change it. I think this is going to be good for them. We'll see how it plays out going in the uh, next couple minutes so uh here we go yep nice unarm coming out from saiyan on the orion not something wholly unique to orion but maybe it's just that mental change coming out meanwhile trick on the middle of the map has the sword in hand trying to get some good juggles but again the team damage coming out from this blue team oh nice save coming in from lx to interrupt that down light spear combo from saiyan onto vecina has a lot of damage getting built up. Vecina using the SIGs, trying to just get a little bit more damage is a clap back to what Saiyan was doing a little earlier. Trick going off stage, looking for LX, chase with that sword, using the neutral SIG as a bit of an anti-edge guard. The neutral SIG from Vecina, though, trying to launch. Dude, there's a second one out, not going to connect it, too. Trick getting back on a stage, saying, oh, no, draw down six's teammate. That is not something you want to see. 
going to be tragic as LX gets one, almost gets the second one. Vecina's in position, catches him, but Trick does get the wall touch. So only one blue team member going to fall, and in fact, finally finishes off Vecina. Another weapon toss, and the blue team has a very slight lead. I mean, very slight. If Trick takes a fall in the next, you know, couple seconds from anything, and they're playing against characters who can make that happen, then that lead is... Uh, is collapsed immediately. Fortunately, Trick does have high defense, so it might take a little bit of effort from this red team to finish off this stock, but they don't even look like they're really hunting it down, which I kind of respect. They're just like, all right, maybe if we just get this extra damage on Saiyan, we'll find the opportunity Ooh. later, and they do as Vecina finds the down air. Fortunately for the red team, stock or health advantage is definitely the way of the blue team with Vecina about to fall soon. Ooh. Two siders from Vecina off on the right, trying to pressure Trick a little bit with the unarmed off stage. Trick oh, just no. retreating, trying to save his teammate. Doesn't get there in time, and that is going to be Saiyan losing another stock. And suddenly, Red Team's got the lead. Trick really not much healthier than LX. And Vecina about to get a gimp onto Saiyan. Great dodge from Saiyan to avoid that final blast. Gonna hold on Ooh. to the stock just barely. He has to survive. Or else he's going to be leaving oh. Trick in that 1v2. Nice double KO from Saiyan. Saiyan really bringing it together with that double KO. Trick still in a pretty good position as well. Makes sure that they can extend this stock even further. And continue oh no, the oh no, oh right no, now. he can't oh, dodge. He doesn't have oh the jumps. No. But now it's a 2v1 and now Trick does have two stocks. But this extra man on the field, having to deal with two players rather than one at a time, makes it just so much harder. Now this is uh, starting to get real tough for Trick. One stock left to one each on the red team. Weapon spawn in hand, he's gonna have the sword, which is definitely one of the safer weapons to have in these 1v2 situations. Not a lot of committal things. Great spot Ooh. dodge, just kind of playing mind games against Vecina and LX. So far he's playing this right, you go for the quick hits, you don't do anything that locks you down in place. A risky, move to use the the gravity cancel side sig oh, oh another side sig coming oh, out no. Vecina trying to get the chase oh. recovery not enough to find the ko have... oh just barely makes it back i was gonna say he doesn't have a lot of jumps left but the red team actually backed off there they're like we got the damage we needed that was some fantastic damage coming out from Vecina on the cannon nice side air from trick we'll get him back onto the stage but he burns a dodge for the gravity cancel downlight and the red team punishes such risky plays coming out from the blue team. Oh, a little bit of a clash. Alive. That's allowing Trick. Oh. Never mind. I was going to say it was allowing Trick to survive just a little bit longer, but that down sig right there from LX finding the KO right off the top. A very satisfying way for them to end that right there, and I believe that that is going to make it. 3 to 1 in the set. I believe that is them going yes, to move on. Yes, that is 3 1 going the way of Vecina and LX, and they're hopping out, getting ready to go into the losers' quarterfinals to fight against DB and Legit. Over on the other side of losers' top eight, we've got Wreck and Jesper going to be going up against Caillou and Manexo. All right. Caillou? 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 